Hi, today I'm going to help you with your intonation when you give short answers. Why? Well, because if you get it wrong, it can sound rude and abrupt. And this is the last thing you want. What we really want is an answer to a question that will encourage more conversation. I'm also going to show you the stress on the important words in the sentences so you can copy repeating them using the same rhythm and intonation. First of all, let's start by giving you an example of short answers. I'm going to ask a moody teenager a couple of simple yes-no questions. Here goes. Have you made your bed yet? No. Did you stay out late last night? No. Did you have a good time? Yes. Well, it doesn't sound like it. Did you notice the intonation? The yes-no intonation rises at the end and the answer falls at the end. These very short answers can often sound rude and impolite. So firstly, how can we make them sound polite? Well, we need to make the sentence a bit longer using a complete definite statement. So let's go back and do it again this time with a complete definite statement. Here goes. Have you made your bed yet? No, I haven't. Did you stay out late last night? No, I didn't. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Did you notice the intonation still falls at the end, but it softens the hard intonation of a one word answer? This makes it more likely you'll continue the conversation like this. Have you made your bed yet? No, I haven't. I'll do it later. Did you stay out late last night? No, I didn't. I came home early, actually. I felt a bit tired. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. I saw my friend Gillian for the first time in ages. Of course, there are times when you want to sound less polite and not want to continue a conversation. For example, you're in a bar waiting for a friend when a stranger appears and offers to buy you a drink. Hi, can I get you a drink? No. Or if you don't want to sound too rude, no thanks. This should give him the message. But if he still won't go away like this, are you sure? You don't look very happy. No thank you. Really, I'm waiting for my boyfriend. Ah, okay. Shame. Uh, can I give you my number? No! Notice how all the intonation in complete definite answers falls at the end. Simple. And don't forget the intonation in the yes, no questions rises at the end. Go back and listen again. Remember, it's all in the listening. If you want more on intonation, see my videos here. So let's look at another situation where you answer a question, but you also want to continue the conversation. You're out walking with your dog when you come across another dog walker. Notice the intonation. That's a beautiful dog. Is he a golden retriever? <coughs> yes, he is. He's still just a puppy though. How old is he? Only seven months. He's not fully grown yet. He's so cute. Is he friendly? Yes, he is. Would you like to stroke him? He won't bite you. He loves meeting people. <coughs> so there you are. 
The voice often falls on yes, no, short answers, complete definite statements, and often where the speaker goes on to give a more detailed answer. Easy peasy. If you found this useful, please like and share with your friends. Well, the ones that want to learn English anyway. Until next time, love and peace.